Hello guys, and welcome back to, oh, it's a bit noisy, welcome back to our playthrough of, oh, fucking hell, of, um, Among the Sleep. And, uh, this is the next day after I recorded, and I'm feeling like this game isn't actually that scary. And maybe I'm just, I was over-exaggerating, I'm feeling positive, but after saying that, I'm fairly certain that I will... In fact, poo myself, but I'm ready. Just straight off the bat, let's just go. Yeah, I changed my mind, I'm not feeling good about this. This is gonna be bad. But it's good. There's nothing here. I don't really know why I subject. My, this is a fucking tree, subject myself to play this. What is this place? It's I a house. think we should keep quiet. Yeah, okay, well, Teddy, you always say that. And I'll be honest with you. You just start to talk. So you kind of contradict yourself, but... You know, whatever makes you feel better. Sorry if it annoys... I don't... Sorry if it annoys you guys that, um... I walk instead of crawl. I just prefer, really, because I can hold my little teddy. Teddy is definitely gonna win. Uh, a position. Oh no. As one of my favorite. Protagonist. Uh, protagonist? Favorite sidekicks. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's gonna be a jump. Jump. <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh, definitely he's gonna... When a place is one of my favourite sidekicks, up there with, I suppose, Claptrap, if he counts from Borderlands, because that guy is friggin' sweet. And, um. Who else? What's his name? Wheatley. Although he does end up being evil. Sorry about the spoiler there, but honestly, that game is years old now, and if you haven't played it, Those then. Those floaty things. You they can't. Look like play. memories. Me. Maybe the next one is behind those roots. Are you sure them fairly s oh you mean these bits? I thought you meant these leaves. Oh, okay. Oh no. Have to find the other parts of this puzzle. Gorgeous, lovely. It's good, I love this game. It's great, great art style, great. Much, much greatness, much love. Good night. Like, even too spooky, really. Oh shit, it's going too soon. Oh no. What is this? This is literally how we're actually saying that. I don't think that we had any, uh, well, cross crawl, any jump scares last time, did we? Oh, change of mind. Sorry if this is quite dark, but. Oh, they're flies. They should have put... What the fuck is this? Oh, okay, our first death. You apparently... 
Oof. You can't go in water. I suppose that does make sense. We are actually a two year old. Okay. Easy, easy enough. Um, don't even know what I was saying. Probably something about this not being too scary and then just crap my pants, but. Yeah, oh, shit, what was that? Okay. So, we've established we can't go down there, but there's conveniently a path here which will probably be able to. <gasps> oh, Jesus friggin' Christ. Scare us. Oh my god, I spoke too soon. Clearly, I do find this game quite creepy, as I've just proved. And. I'm a liar. What the fuck is this? Give me my teddy bear because I'm scared. What are these? Toadstools? Can I take them? No, is the answer. If anyone was wondering, you cannot take them. Can I go here? Oh, I know what I was going to say earlier. It'd be cool if you could see the faces of the dead. I can the rings. But I get the feeling that that's not really the creepiness these guys go for. They go for the supernatural creepiness, which is what many old time horror films do. But instead of actually showing you what to be scared of, you just had to uh, use your imagination. And mostly that is what these guys do. A lot of loud noises. Um someone someone fapping <laughs> in the dist distance. Every uh mother's worst nightmare. And uh fuck are these? Some toads? Apparently some toad bubbles. Back to crawl mode, I suppose. I hope this isn't too dark. I say it's barely visible, so I'd get the full fear factor. Because that is actually what they recommended barely visible. I've never actually uh, done a brightness on a game true to barely visibleness. Um. Oh, here we go. Uh, here we go. This is the way. Up we go. <laughs> up here. And up here. Fantastic. I don't know why these guys chosen to put the bookhouse bookcase on the outside of a house, but you know, okay, we can't have a torch. I wonder what's following us. Most likely something absolutely positively terrifying. So we're gonna hide underneath here. Okay, we'll continue onwards. No, 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 please. Oh no. Bravo to these guys, because they are honestly freaking fantastic and. I feel as if the only way that this game can actually end is with uh, this being a dream. Honestly. Possibly we got a new dog. And I am dreaming about said dog. And that is the beast, which follows us. It's 
gonna call it now, I don't know if it's right, but it'd be nice if we were right, wouldn't it? Or me, we, we're a team. How is this? What kind of sick freak? Collects these sick twisted animals. Oh my god, please. We're good. 